Guys, welcome to another video on the Inside Spurs Show. Happy Wednesday afternoon. I hope you are well. I hope you are all enjoying the day. Whatever it is you're up to today, I hope it's treating you well. You're looking after yourself and uh, you're getting some fresh air if you can. Uh, obviously, this is recorded post live stream that was done at 12 p.m. UK time. Um, so just quick little snippet video, quick little update on what it is that we were talking about. And uh, yeah, so plenty to get into, plenty to talk about. Just want to say if you're new, subscribe. You're very much welcome to join us for the journey. But also, you know, we do lives at 12 p.m. and 7 p.m. Please join us if you can. But uh, yeah, let's talk about what we were talking about. We started with Emerson Royale and we had a couple of reports, uh, one of which was from the Gazette, who said that Emerson Royale's move to AC Milan from Tottenham Hotspur is now entering the final stages of completion. Milan are ready to meet Spurs' demands and reach a fee in the region of 18 to 20 million euros to sign Emerson this summer. So, you know, it works out somewhere in between, you know, sort of 16 to 19 million pounds. We'll just call it as that. I always said if we could get 20 million for Emerson Real, I'd be thrilled, but I can see it being a bit less. And I think this is kind of where I always thought it'd be somewhere in the 17, 18 million pound range. Um, I've always said as well, Emerson Real is a decent player, a player that... If you're asking him to defend, he would do it and, you know, give you no issues. If you're asking him to be a creative spark in your team, I think that's where I would draw the line. And I don't think he is that. In in AC Milan, you know, with the fact that you've got Teo Hernandez on the left-hand side, you've got Emerson then on the right, who then can fill into a back three, maybe, allowing Teo just to bomb forward. Um I'm all on board with that. I can, I can, I can understand that. I, I would probably say that's actually quite a good move, and I think AC Milan is a good move for Emerson Royal. You know, it does kind of look like the deal is progressing, which is nice. I mean, again, he's not a player that's in the Copa America, so I don't think there's anything to really stop this deal happening. So, uh, yeah, I think we should hopefully have a conclusion to this deal in uh, no short order. Uh, we also talked about the Will Lankshire report, and uh, it, you know. There's reports, you know, we we aren't looking to sell him, but there are reports that we are not ruling it out. I don't think we'd rule out a sell for any player, really. You always, money talks is the is saying, is it not? So they said that Middlesbrough are holding talks with Tottenham to sign 19-year-old Will Lankshire. Borough have made a contract proposal. There is also competition for him from clubs in Europe with an outright sell not ruled out. I was talking about this deal a little while ago. It's now resurfaced again. I don't mind the move on loan. Will Langshire on loan to Middlesbrough, I think, is a really good move for him. They play attacking football. They create chances for their attacker. I, I, I'm I'm all on board for this, to be honest, if I'm honest. You know, the sale, I'm not. I'm not impressed with the idea that, that, that we would even think about selling Will Langshire. I know I've just said that every player has a price and somewhat that is being hypocritical. But he's a guy that would... He killed it last season uh, in the under twenty one league, and and I'm really hopeful that you know he would he'd be given a chance to show can he do it for the first team. Now I think a loan at Brock Borough I think is a really good thing, and you know I I don't I wouldn't want Spurs to turn that down unless obviously the deal was rubbish and he was barely going to play. If he's going to play, I'm all for this. You know, if you've got Scarlett, you've got you want to see what you got in Parrot. You got Valise, who I expect Valise to go on loan. I think Scarlett will stay with the first team squad. Um, I think it's smart. I really like it. And, you know, a a learning experience in the championship suits young players really well. If they're going to get 35, 40 odd games a season, why the hell not, you know? And uh, yeah, we did kind of briefly talk about Edison, the Atalanta midfielder. And he, he sort of, uh, there were some quotes that came out from Brazil. And he said, I'm happy at Atalanta. My focus is now on Brazil. I like Italy, but I'm also curious about the Premier League. The only possibility to leave is if Atalanta receive a proposal and then they decide it is up to Atalanta. And I, I, I I'll finish off with this story. The fact that Atalanta are probably going to be selling Coop Miners. They're going to be, you know, garnering a pretty decent fee for Coop Miners. I don't actually think Edison will be sold unless it's for 60 million plus. And I don't think Spurs will be in that market. Had it been somewhere between 40 and 50, maybe, but 60 million plus when Spurs have so many other needs elsewhere, we can't buy what we need with every player being 60 million or above. You know, it's just not it's just not feasible. It's not what we're going to do as well. So I'm interested to see what you guys think about all those players. Obviously, that is the video. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Hit me in the comment section your thoughts and feelings about Edison, about Lancashire, about Emerson, 
Uh, I want to know your thoughts about all that. Obviously, subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification for more. Better guys, in the video. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.